Hello and welcome to the weekend weather forecast from the Met Office. Actually, for the first time in some time, there's plenty of weather to talk about this weekend because high pressure, which has kept things relatively quiet recently, is releasing its grip and we're replacing it with low pressure, often to the north, and tighter isobars. So it's a windy theme through the weekend, especially in the north. And in fact, we start off Saturday with gales for parts of Scotland, especially exposed northern and northwestern coasts and some heavy rainfall. That really mounting up across the Northwest Highlands by the start of Saturday. But the heavy rain clearing then, and the gusty winds taking the cold front south, there's a weakening feature fizzling out as it pushes into central parts of the UK. But it stays blustery in the north. Brighter skies follow the front, but also colder air with these strong winds coming from the north and northwest. Those showers across Scotland turning to snow above around 400 metres or so, and some sleet and hail at lower levels, especially in the far north. Meanwhile, further south, the cloudy picture for much of southern England, the Midlands into East Anglia and Wales. We start off without a frost or fog patches because of the cloud and the increased breeze. And that means it's actually a mild day on Saturday in the south and it stays dry until this weak feature comes along later on. Further north, temperatures dropping through the day. We peak at around dawn and then we're back into single figures by the afternoon. The cold front slows down as it pushes south. It's linked back to this developing system, which is also going to be influenced by a nor'easter storm affecting northeastern parts of the North American continent. And some uncertainties in the position of this as it develops through the weekend will also influence the shape of the jet stream downstream. And that will also lead to some uncertainties about how much the jet stream will spin up this low as it pushes into northwestern parts of the UK later on Sunday. But we start Sunday with that low out of the way and we're going to see perhaps some cloud keeping things frost free in the south and southwest depending on the timing of the frontal clearance but otherwise clear skies will lead to a fairly widespread frost first thing Sunday and a bright start for many. Actually there's plenty of sunshine around first thing. This high cloud will be drifting in from the west turning to medium cloud and then eventually lowering through the day but for many for the bulk of Sunday, daylight hours actually, it's looking fine, especially in the south and the east. But you can see the rain setting in there during the afternoon across parts of Scotland, particularly in the west, Northern Ireland, northwest England, and the wind picking up as well. So the weather turns more unsettled in the, the northwest. That will impact the temperatures. It will feel quite cold under that rain and wind. Temperatures around average further south, not quite as mild as Saturday. And then really the uncertainties over the development of the low to the northwest of the UK become quite important for the second half of Sunday. As we go into Sunday evening, it looks like it's going to turn increasingly unsettled across the north. Heavy rain and strong winds, but there's the risk of really strong winds, gales sweeping across northwestern and northern parts of Scotland, particularly exposed coasts and the Northern Isles. And there is the risk, depending on the depth and the track of that low, of snow, especially over the hills of Scotland as the system clears away and we pull in colder air from the northwest. But there's the chance that that snow will also affect some lower parts of Scotland and later northern England. So a, a few differences in agreement between the computer models about the development of that low. And we'll be watching how things play out over the next few days. And we will, of course, keep you updated on all of that. You can follow those updates on social media. Bye bye.